Yo, what's good, crew? It's your partner, Jess Mike, and we're back in here on Madden 17, man, and we finally get Team of the Week, bro, and we get the preseason edition, and you're going to get a chance to get yourself an 87 overall Von Bell free safety, or you get a chance to actually get a 48-hour Dak Prescott. I know a lot of people are more hyped about that, and I'm going to give you my overview of what I think about this whole set, but first, let's get into the cards, man. You get a chance to get a 78 overall AJ McCarron, 79 overall Nolan Carroll, an 81 Will Fuller, an 82 Trey Flowers, and an 84 Bulldozer in Derrick Henry. So let's go ahead and check out this AJ McCarron real quick. Uh, this card actually is a pretty solid card, dude. Uh, it's going for about 15,000 coins right now. As you see, somebody bought that one up. So, you know, let's move on to the next one. And his stats are pretty nice, man. Uh, 86 short ball, 84 mid ball with 81 throw on the run and 79 play action. Now, he does have a 79 deep ball, but keep in mind this elite Cam Newton also has only an 80 deep ball, right? And this cam actually has been playing lights out for me. So, you know, actually this guy can actually be a pretty solid quarterback on your squad. Definitely a great backup quarterback if you need him. And when his price goes down, he might actually be a good budget pickup. But that's AJ McCarron, man. Let's go ahead and move on to the next guy. And uh, Nolan Carroll, man, for the Eagles. Now, I would have thought Ed Reynolds may have gotten a team of the week card for preseason because he did get a pick six, I think, last game. But it is what it is, man. Good to see one of my Eagles get a card. And let's see what the buy now price on this kid is. Going for 17,000 coins. Let's check out his stats, though, man. 89 speed, which is really nice and mutt right now. 89 uh, acceleration as well. 87 agility, really good agility. Uh, pretty decent man coverage at 83 and zone coverage at 80. Now, he also has an 83 press with a 79 play rank and 66 catch. The catch is kind of low, man, but this guy is 6'1", dude. 6'1", with that 89 speed and 83 man coverage. Really going to be nice and good press, too, on this card. So, definitely a great card as, as well. He could be a starter or a backup, depending on what you want to use him for, dude. Now, moving on to the next card. Now, this card right here. Is a must-have. I definitely have to get this card. And I think he's flying out of packs too, bro. Like, judging by how many cards are already up there, he's definitely flying out of packs. Now, let's go ahead and check out his buy now price of 20,000 coins. I think that's going to go lower than that. Um, I'll definitely listen. I'm going to go ahead and punch in right now for 9,000. All right, punch in right now for the ninth thou. But let's go ahead and check out this guy's stats, man. 91 speed. Check this out. 86 spec catch. 81 catching traffic. 84 catching with an 82 release and an 85 jumping. Really nice stats, dude. And also, he has 81 route running and 82 elusiveness. So he's a really solid wide receiver, dude. And that speed is going to kill. It's going to kill. Now, on top of that... He actually has the West Coast Kim scheme that's going to give him a one plus agility, one plus in pass blocking, and an extra point in catching traffic. So that's going to be pretty nice, man. And that's going to boost your team up with these Kims. Now, additionally, what's good about this card is not only does he have great uh, catching stats and speed, he also has some pretty good running blocking, man. I think his run block, yeah, run block is at 50. So this dude is definitely nice, man. Definitely be a good addition to anybody's team, man. And that speed is definitely going to kill. I think uh, Philip Dorsett has 92 speed. He has 91 speed. And on top of all that, he is six feet. So this is definitely going to be a good pickup for me. I'm definitely going to have this guy on my squad. I don't know about today, maybe tomorrow, but if I can get him for like under 15K, he probably will be on my squad today. Now, let's go ahead and move on to the next guy. We have Trey Flowers. Now, this guy's going to be a right end. He's going to have 3-4 Kim. And let's see what his buy now price is. Buy now price is 15,000 coins. And he has some pretty decent stats, man. 88 strength, which is really good. 86 block shed, 86 power move, 69 finesse move with an 80 play rec, 87 tackling, and 87 acceleration. So this guy's going to be pretty, pretty good. But we do have, like, comparing him to what I got, I 
he is not going to be a really big upgrade. I have Olivier Vernon, and this guy is a beast. Just lights out. Like, 92 block shed, 91 power move, 80 play rec, 82 strength. Now, he got he beats him in strength, but, dude, this guy, if, if I'm telling you, if this Olivier Vernon had, like, plus two speed, it would be just a solid killer out here in these streets, in these much streets, but this guy is definitely nice, man. I think he actually has better stats than uh, the new Charles Haley that's out. I don't know. I have to compare the two, but yeah, man, this Trey Flowers looks pretty nice, but the Beast card is this uh, Derrick Henry, man. This 84 overall. I guess he's the, like the master unlockable card, and so this guy's going for a little price, man. Uh, looking at his price, man, going for about 65,000 coins, and uh, let's go ahead and check out his stats, man. 88 speed, dude. 88 speed with 89 carrying, 92 trucking, all right? 91 ball carrier vision. Uh, Eddie has 91 acceleration and 79 elusiveness. Now, he has great trucking and great carrying, but he also has the bruising back him. That's really nice, man. So, it's going to give a plus one to trucking, a plus one to stiff arm, and a plus one to impact block. Really, really like that, man. Now, uh, looking at his stats, I wonder is, is he a good run blocker, which would kind of be ironic because he's running back, but he has some solid run block at 64, so you can definitely kind of like switch this guy up, run him out of position a little bit, run him at fullback, and he would be a workhorse for you there, man. Definitely, I think I might do that if I could afford this. I mean, I know I could afford him, but if his price goes down to where I could get him or I can pull him out of packs, I would definitely run him at fullback sometimes, along with, you know, in close yard situation. But this guy's going to be a nasty back, man, a Sherman Tank, right? Uh, now, moving on to the set player, the hero. We have 87 overall Von Bell. Now, this guy, I was kind of wondering, like, where do I know this guy from? And I remember thinking about this kid. I've seen his card, and I was just like, wow, this card is kind of funny because it looks like he had, like, a condom on his head or something like that, dude. And uh turns out that he's actually going to be the team hero for this week, and it's pretty nice. Now, I don't know if they made him or not. I'm pretty sure he's not up here. Like, if he's up here, I would really be surprised, dude. Like, I would really be surprised if he's actually up here. Uh, but Dak is. Oh, Vaughn is too. Okay, so that's pretty nice, man. Let's go ahead and check these guys out before someone buys them. Uh, Von Bell, pretty nice stats, man. 88 speed, 87 tackling, 87 man coverage, 89 pursuit, 86 hit power, and 83 zone coverage with an 82 play rig. Pretty nice card. He's 5'11". Has good acceleration at 88 as well. And uh, he's a pretty solid card. I think that this card actually might be good even in the second, like, when you get into the real promos, like, you know, the breast cancer awareness and, you know, other team of the week cards and football outsiders. I think he's still going to be solid, man. Uh, definitely a card to pick up. He's really nice on all accounts. Uh, I just don't know if he's the card for me, though. You know what I mean? I don't know if he should have been the set hero. You know what I'm saying? Like, to be honest with you, I don't know if that was the move. You know what I mean? Like, uh, there's definitely players out here who have better attributes in some areas than he does. But I just think that maybe Dak Prescott should have been the set hero, you know, instead of uh, Von Bell. I think he should have been included in the set you know, as a part of the set. And then for the 48-hour card, I would have liked to see either the Will Fuller or Derrick Henry. But, I mean, it is what it is, man. Uh, Dak Prescott, really nice stats on this kid, man. 83 speed, uh, 80 awareness. Um, now, what I like about this card is he has an 89 sharp ball, 84 mid ball, and 87 deep ball. This guy can throw the rock deep, and I love that, man. Also, 93 on the run. Like I say, looking at Cam's card, 
Um, you know, he definitely has some stats over Cam. He has a better uh, short ball. Cam has a better medium ball. And he has a way better deep ball than Cam does, man. You know what I mean? And they're throwing the run and play action is pretty much the same. As well as he has one plus speed over Cam. So, I don't know. I don't know which one you pick. I mean, hey, Cam 6'5", he's 6'2". That may be a factor in when throwing the ball. Don't really know. But, uh, yeah, man, he looks really nice, man. Um, going for 700,000 coins. I don't know. Maybe Cam is the move to stay here. But, like I say, man, um, these are the Team of the Week players, man. And I'm telling you guys, like I said, I, I think... Wait, hold on. Did somebody... No, I was thinking of... Wait, that's just a regular Derrick Henry. I thought... Never mind, I was getting the milestones mixed up with the team of the week. I thought somebody made the Derrick Henry with uh, with bruising back him. <laughs> but like I said, man, I think that these this promo is actually nice. I don't know if making Von Bell the set hero was the move, though, man. I think you definitely should have made Dak Prescott the hero and then Von Bell just a set player in the set. You know what I mean? And then maybe for a 48-hour card have the Derrick Henry or the Will Fuller. I think that would have been way better than what we got. Well, honestly, Derrick Henry being the 48-hour card because Will Fuller, I like the fact that they're putting him in packs and people will get a chance to experience him. So I think Derrick Henry could have been the 48-hour card. Dak should have definitely been the set. That would have gave people reason to do the set because I don't know if people really want to give up Will Fuller and Derrick Henry for Von Bell. That's my biggest thing. Like, would you really give up a Derrick Henry that could really crush your opponent and a Will Fuller that's going to really just uh, moss a lot of people for uh, Von Bell? I don't know. You know what I mean? Especially if you have a team of the weird uh, Eric Reed or something like that. So, I don't know if you really finished this set or not. You know what I'm saying? But I want to know what you guys think, man. Dak is now in the game. He has an official card in the game. I want to know what you guys think. I want to know if you guys picked up anything. But that's it for this one. I will see you guys on the next one. Until then, it's your partner, Just Mike. Stay up. Much love. And I am out of here.